A fixed shift has a definite start and end. For an example, a shift that starts at 8 a.m. and ends at 5 p.m. Select Setup from the navigation list. Select Shifts from the flyout menu. The shift information window will display. Choose New. The window will open for the settings of the new shift to be entered. Enter an identifier for the shift at the name field. From the shift tab, select the desired shift type. At arrive early field, enter the earliest time when punches will adjust forward to the end time or start of the shift. This field will not be available if the shift time is set to either shift with no revisions or shift without revision. At the end time field, enter the time that your shift will begin. At the out time field, enter the time that the shift will end. At the leave late field, enter the latest time when punches will adjust backward to the out time or the end of the shift. This field will not be available if the shift type is either set to shift with no revisions or shift with end revision. Select the break or breaks you want to assign to the shift. If you need to create new breaks, use the new button. From the advanced, premium time and override tabs configure any additional settings and select save a flexible shift is one where there is no defined start time but there is a definite duration for example a shift that lasts for 10 hours can be started at any time select setup from the navigation list select shifts from the flyout menu the shift information window will display Choose New. The window will open for the settings of the new shift to be entered. Enter an identifier for the shift at the name field. From the Shift tab, select Flexible Shift from Shift Type. At the Shift Length field, enter how long the shift is expected to last. Select the break or breaks you want to assign to the shift. If you need to create a new break, use the New button. From the Advanced, Premium Time, and Overrides tab, configure any additional settings and select Save. Choose Scheduling from the Navigation List. The Scheduling area will open with the month view selected. Select the date or dates desired and press the Assignment icon. The Assignment flyout will open. From the top list, choose Shift. From the second list, select the desired shift, select the desired employees, choose save, and the selected shift will be assigned. Choose scheduling from the navigation list. The scheduling area will open with the month view selected. Select the date or dates desired and press the assignment icon. The assignment flyout will open. From the top list, choose Reoccurring Shift. From the second list, select the desired shift. Select the desired employees, choose Save. The selected reoccurring shift will be assigned. Choose Scheduling from the navigation list. The scheduling area will open. Select the desired day from the calendar. Select the day tab. Select your desired employee. Next to their name, press the assignment icon. The assignment flyout will open. In the first drop down menu, select assign. In the second drop down menu, select shift. In the third drop down menu, select your desired shift. Press save. The selected shift will be assigned. Choose scheduling from the navigation list. The scheduling area will open. Select the desired day from the calendar. Click on the Day tab. Select your desired employee. Next to your name, press the Assignment icon. The Assignment flyout will open. In the first drop-down menu, select Assign. In the second drop-down menu, select Reoccurring Shift. In the third drop-down menu, select your desired shift. Press Save. The selected reoccurring shift will be assigned. Choose scheduling from the navigation list. 
The scheduling area will open with the month view selected. Select the date or dates desired and press the assignment icon. The assignment flyout will open. Select whether you are assigning a shift or a reoccurring shift using the drop down menus. And the last drop down menu will be your list of available shifts. At the top, select Add New Shift. Name and set up your shift the desired in the pop up window. Press Save and Exit. In the assignment flyout, the shift will automatically be selected. Press Save to apply it. Choose Scheduling from the navigation list. The scheduling area will open with the month view selected. Press the day tab or double click the day you wish to apply the shifts to. Select your desired employee and press the assignment icon. The assignment flyout will open. Select whether you are assigning a shift or a reoccurring shift using the drop down menus. And the last drop down menu will be your list of available shifts. At the top, select Add New Shift. Name and set up your shift as desired in the pop up window. Press Save and Exit. In the assignment flyout, the shift will automatically be selected. Press Save to apply it. Choose Scheduling from the navigation list. The scheduling area will open with the month view selected. Select the date or dates desired and press the assignment icon. The assignment flyout will open. From the top list, choose non-work time. From the second list, select the desired pay code. Enter the amount of non-work time being assigned. Select the desired employees. Choose save. The non-work time will be assigned. Choose scheduling from the navigation list. The scheduling area will open. Select the desired day from the calendar. Click on the day tab. Select your desired employee. Next to her name, press the edit button. The assignment flyout will open. In the first drop down menu, select non-work time. The non-work time table will now have a plus and minus button. Under the pay code column, use the drop down menu to select your desired non-work pay code. In the amount field, enter the amount of hours you wish to assign. If necessary, add as many non-work pay codes as you wish to apply to the selected date. Choose save, the non-work time will be assigned. Select scheduling in the navigation list. Highlight the day or days in the calendar you wish to remove shifts from. Press the assignment icon to open the flyout. Under manage, change the drop down menu option to delete. In the second drop down menu, change the option to shift if necessary. Check off the names of the employees you wish to remove the shifts from. Choose save. Select scheduling from the navigation list. Highlight the day or days in the calendar you wish to remove shifts from. Press the assignments icon to open the flyout. Under manage, change the drop down menu to delete. In the second drop down menu, change the option to reoccurring shift if necessary. Check off the names of employees you wish to remove the shifts from. Choose save. Select Scheduling in the navigation list. Highlight the day in the calendar you wish to remove the shifts from. Select the day tab. Employees or assignments will display. Select your desired employee in the list. Press the assignments icon to open the flyout. In the first drop down menu, select delete. In the second drop down menu, change the option to shift if necessary. Click save. Select scheduling in the navigation list. Highlight the day in the calendar you wish to remove shifts from. Select the day tab, employees with assignments will display. Select your desired employee in the list. Press the assignments icon to open the flyout. In the first drop down menu, select delete. In the drop down menu, change the option to reoccurring shift if necessary. Click 
click Save. Select Scheduling in a Navigation List. Highlight the day or days in the calendar you wish to remove non-work time from. Press the assignment icon to open the flyout. Under Manage, change the drop-down menu option to Delete. In the second drop-down menu, change the option to Non-Work Time if necessary. Check off the names of employees you wish to remove the non-work time from. Click Save. Select Scheduling in the Navigation List. Highlight the day in the calendar you wish to remove the non-work time from. Select the Day tab. Employees will Assignments will display. Select your desired employee in the list. Press the Assignments icon to open the flyout. Using the drop-down menu, select Non-Work Time. The Non-Work Time table will have a plus and minus button above it. Select the Non-Work Time in the table and press the minus button. Click Save. 